Hello, welcome to Jason on Millennial. My name is Jason. Speaking to you here in my basement in the great state of Kansas. I'm doing a five-minute review over House of the Dragon Season 2. I just finished watching it, actually, uh, just, a, just a minute ago. I just finished it. I had binge-watched the last three episodes, six, seven, and eight. I was a little behind, but I uh, was able to get through it all. And, yeah, getting through it um, felt a little bit like last season, um, that we're really, you know... Last season, first season, was all just getting to know the characters and kind of um, getting to the big point where we're having this, you know, kind of civil war, so to say, to say who's going to be the the king or queen um, of um, Westeros, or not Westeros, but um, maybe it's Westeros. Um, <laughs> I see who's going to be king or queen. And uh, we got, you know, the... King Aegon of the Greens, and you got Rhaenerys of the Blacks, I guess. And that's the Greens versus the Blacks is what it's called. And um, right now, uh, yeah, King Aegon is basically ruling as king, but uh, Queen Rhaenerys is claiming the uh, queen of the uh, uh, Westeros as well and building her army. And, and so this season, I was kind of like excited because I was like, okay, they're setting up this this uh, war that's going to happen, the civil war kind of thing that's going to happen. And uh, so I thought we were going to get a war in this season, but we really don't. There really isn't much battles or war to go. It's still, the whole season is really just more um, getting up to uh, the war, to, to more battles. Uh, I think neither side wants to, um, they both sides have dragons, but neither side wants to, attack with the dragons cause, uh, for the most part because they don't want to lose a dragon because that's a huge loss to them so they're kind of being a little you know uh, not sure you know being a little cautious uh, at the beginning um you know so i was a little disappointed that we didn't get like any major battles at the very end of the season um i mean maybe some minor spoilers but at the very end of the season we're getting to like we're all getting together we're gonna have a big battle and then the show ends and they're like oh I got to wait till next season until we get this big battle that they're kind of preparing for. So a little disappointed we didn't get a really good big battle at the end of the season. Like Game of Thrones, usually you had like one really great battle at the end of the season that really um, captivated the whole season and was cool and awesome and all that. So a little disappointed with that. We get one really good battle uh, in season four, or episode four. Uh, probably my favorite episode. Um, we get... Um, Aemon and Aegon got their dragons, um, and Rhaenys has her dragon, and we have a really good dragon battle. It's maybe the only time I've really seen a good dragon battle. Um, uh, there might have been one in Game of Thrones in the last season or so, uh, towards the end there, but um, this was a real good dragon battle. That was really good that we got that kind of battle sequence and how that all played out. I thought it was really great. Um, besides that, yeah, most episodes, it was, it was a little boring at times. It dragged out a bit. Uh, though I was getting, episode six, seven, eight, I was getting a little more intrigued with the politics and all the moving pieces behind and how's this all going to end, you know? Uh, so I was still intrigued enough. I wasn't totally bored or, you know, checked out or anything. Um, but it still felt like the, this, the season was just more just revving up for the war which I thought that's what the first season was, but I know they're dragging this out to like five seasons. So maybe we won't get really next season. I'm guessing we have to get something. It seems like they're really getting to war for next season. Um, yeah, as far as, but still it's, it's a fun fantasy series. I mean, done very well by HBO. I mean, the cinematography is amazing. The special effects, the dragons are really cool. Really great. I do love the episode seven where they're getting all the dragons and uh, trying to get more dragon riders and dragons just, obliterate like all these people trying to be dragon riders that was that was quite a scene <laughs> uh lots of fire lots of fire uh, lots of people being burned up that's for sure um but yeah there's still pretty pretty good performances here and there um the yeah special effects are great the set designs the costuming the whole fantasy element is done very well still so it's still a decent show overall it's never gonna be as good as game of thrones unfortunately the characters aren't as interesting it's a little bit of a slog at times, but I still give this season a three out of five. I think it's uh, just it's it's a good enough season 
that I'm still intrigued uh, to continue on. It's a good season to watch. And if you haven't watched, I recommend the show, uh, House of Dragons season two.